Hello Internet and welcome to another video with Haversite. Now, with 3.19 now live on the Persistent Universe, I wanted to get right into it and check out this new player experience that they have been advertising. Being a complete and utter noob when it comes to Star Citizen, I need a good reminder on how to play this as it's been a little while due to some real life commitments. So now's an ideal time to get right back into it and experience this new player experience. So if you're completely new to the game and you need some other videos to check out, go and check out my new player guide as it does have numerous videos on getting started in Star Citizen and, well, you never know, it might teach you something different than this one because, well, I don't know, I haven't even experienced this new player experience yet. We'll find out. Links are in the description for that and be sure to use my referral code for some extra starting cash. Links down there for that as well. So, is this new player experience any good? Are you ready to check it out? I am. Let's get to it. Alrighty then, so once you've got the game loaded for the first time, or well, first time after this wipe, we're going to need to create a character and get our primary residence in the Persistent Universe set up. So let's do this now. I'm going to go mail, begin blending. I don't really care too much about this because generally, I mean, we're wearing a space helmet anyway, but you know, a bit spiky hair is good. Black hair is good there. That'll do me. I'm not really too bothered. Click save. Saving our character. Okay, so play the tutorial. Before starting your adventure in Star Citizen, learn the basics of the game. Yes, please. Playing through the tutorial will automatically set your primary residence to Area 18. Not a bad choice. And you will be unable to access your purchased ships until you've completed the tutorial. That's fine. 30 minutes of estimated playtime. Fine. That will do me. We're going to be setting off to Area 18 then. Let's load the game. Click Enter Star Citizen Universe. Tutorial, your first steps. Exit the bed. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that's good. Press forward, exit the bed, because I mean, that wasn't really explained, but generally people are going to try moving. Your first steps. Oh, what are we doing then? Ah, welcome to the first left bracket to accept. Okay, we will do that then. Check your journal. So this has opened up the multiverse. You have stepped 930 years into a future where humanity has spread across the stars. Currently you are in area 18 on Arkport, the third planet in the Stanton system. That's great. Okay, so... Well, on here, the tutorial will guide you to Pagini Point, the space station in orbit above the planet that can serve as your gateway to further exploration in the Stanton system. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's close that down. We've got a little chat. Uh, backspace. Ooh. Me, I'm a complete noob. There we go. F12 to get rid of the chat. Drink water. Left right. Do we have to accept every mission? Okay, fair enough. Drink water to replenish your thirst. Definitely do that. There's going to be some water over here on the side. F to interact. We'll just drink it. Click the mouse button to unscrew the top and lift your head back. Thankfully, I do know how to play. I suppose that helps. Maybe not so explain to the new guy. I mean, yeah, we'll see. We can drop that now, I suppose. Now it wants us to eat food. Okay, so maybe that could be, I don't know, a little bit more explaining needed. I don't really know. Left bracket to accept your first steps. I thought we already had that. Alright, well we've done that mission. We're going to have to accept another mission. Leave the hab. Maybe the, the mission way is it the only way they can do this at the minute. I mean, maybe they... Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, I won't cast judgment just yet. Take the elevator to the ground floor. Let's go! Interact with the elevator. I'd say it's very smooth. I like it. Playing. Performance seems good. Come on, elevator. There we are. Here we go. Take the elevator to the ground floor. Ground floor. So, so far, my mm, initial first impression is like, mm, you really kind of had to 
kind of read up on this beforehand. Maybe. Oh. I mean, it teaches you how to interact, I suppose, in the mission bit, bit before, but if you've never seen an elevator before, how do you know that that's the panel? I mean, guess just common knowledge, I guess. I don't know. Let's click the ground floor button because I'm a noob and apparently didn't let that happen. All right, out we go. Take the elevator completed. Awesome. I apparently know how to go down an elevator now. Right, left bracket to accept the next mission. View the map. Let's do that. View the area map. With the first part behind you should now have basic familiarity with moving controls. Yes, maybe. I don't know. You can shop here next station. We hope you fillerize your area. Take your visits to Cubby Blast at Weapons Store here in Area 18. You can shop there and other stores using United Earth credits. Hmm. Okie dokie. I feel like a right noob now because I don't know where the area map is. Oh look, it's pointing me to it. That'll do. It disappeared. Mm. Oh, now it reappeared. There we go. Right. Yeah. I mean, where am I? Where am I? Does it say where I am? Oh, oh yeah. Look. <laughs> there I am. So we need to go to Cubby Blast. Where is Cubby Blast? I'm blind. Oh, I suppose we should read this. Rule one of Star Citizen. Read everything. Dumpers Depot, Cubby Blast is in the retail plaza, which is where we are anyway, so I mean it's going to be like right there, isn't it? I'm a complete noob. Oh well, we'll manage. In we go. Open door please. Thank you very much. It wants us to use the shopping kiosk, which are these little window terminals on the wall. Use the shopping kiosk. Yes. What are we buying? I said pistol. That's a lot of you. Hey, you see. I remember starting with that much. But then it's a new wipe, I suppose. What am I buying? It said pistol, if I remember right. Accept mission. Left bracket, please. There we go. No, I apparently have skipped a bit. Hmm. Okay. I think he wanted me to buy a pistol. I can't remember. I didn't read the mission very well. But I guess. I don't know. So far, so... Uh, not so good. Pistol. Oh, let's just use a cash machine instead. Personal weapons. So, there we go. Let's just take one of them. Quick buy. Not working. I broke it. Oh, there we go. Quick buy. LH. 86, yes please. LH 86, because now we need some ammo. Ammo would be nice. LH, here we go, let's have a few of them. Bye. Let's have five of them. That'll do nicely. They should now be in my infantry, which is I. Oh, this is a lot of Christmas stuff. Oh, look, they give you stuff. Because mission, I suppose. Yeah. Where's my pistol? We need to, need to search for my pistol. Yes. There it is. I'll do. Attach that there, and then we need the ammo. Which will be under the ammo tab. We'll just put that in our slot. Yeah. I mean, this hasn't really been explained. Maybe I'm misreading something. I don't know, I don't know. Right, so it wants us to now go to the city transport terminal. So I guess we're going off to the airport terminal. Let's just double check the mission. Mission, mission, mission is under contract mission. Usually personal. I don't even have a mission, apparently. Well, this is going swell. We'll just follow the tutorial wording on the screen. Head to city flight transport. We'll go to that little marker. So I suppose if you're doing this for the first time, you may want to just take a little bit more of a less haste than I am. I'm not really going terribly fast. I did kind of miss a few bits, I guess. Luckily, I've got a little bit of experience behind me. And I know where I'm going anyway. Just keep following the market. And we're... Oh, the train is here. Run, run, run. Hurry up. Run, run. And I've made it. Sweet. 
Exit shuttle at Riker Memorial Spaceport. Yes, I shall once the train arrives there. We've best left bracket to accept the next mission. Let's do that once. What does it say now? Okay, now I've got that mission I did. Exit the shuttle at Riker Memorial Spaceport. Yep, so we know that anyway. While we're traveling, I'm not supposed to be. We might as well have a read of the mission text. Almost through with the tutorial. Well, that was severely quick. They said 30 minutes. We're only at about eight. <laughs> oh, well, all that remains is to take flight. With your business in Area 18 finished, yes, I bought a pistol. It's now time to leave the city and eventually the planet. I mean, that's the idea of Star Citizen, I suppose, which is fantastic. Let's do go flies. Make your way through our court plaza to the city flight transit shuttles. These shuttles take you all around Area 18, but you're destination is the spaceport. I mean, last I checked, this train just goes from the city to the airport, which for now is fine. Now arriving. Oh, that was quick. That was really quick. I remember that being longer. I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. Oh, I'm not complaining. We're here at the spaceport, guys. Wait, hey, let's go. Locate a fleet manager terminal. Okay. There's no... Oh, there is a marker. Follow the signs, guys, to the hangars. That's really the only thing you need to do. Here we go. Ooh. They changed it. There used to be terminals here. Oh, well. I suppose it makes sense to have them closer to the elevators. Oh, this looks cool. Invictus launch, we put Drake. Sweet. We have to go back and look at all of that, but right now, tutorial. Sure well, we found the fleet manager terminals. I'm in, liking the new location for them. That's pretty cool. Look. So now we need to retrieve a ship. Left bracket to accept your next mission. Retrieve the ship tutorial. Retrieve the Pisces tutorial ship from the fleet manager terminal. Okay. So we're going to need to interact with the terminal. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Awesome. And we will deliver. Obey all security and customs personnel. The Anvil C8 Pisces. Their job is yours. Take 18 safety. seconds to deliver. En route. It's going to take another 10 seconds. Once you're this is again. Company. Goodbye. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Retrieve. Yes. Yes, please. Stand Click the like on to retrieve the ship. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar 3. Thank you for visiting. Take the elevator to your tutorial ship's hangar. Any of these? Any, any elevator. It's fine. Oh, there's another mission. I miss it. I missed it. That's a little bit confusing. It doesn't keep popping up all the time. Maybe that's not really needed. They could just have the little words on the screen like they are doing, Hello, I suppose. Hangar 3, they told me. Where we go? Servicing. Oh, ship. Hello, dude. What are you looking down there? Nothing? And we'll see 8 Pisces. This is the ship for the tutorial. Okay, I've missed the mission again. Or the tutorial ship. Okay, so you don't actually have to pay... You don't have to keep accepting them. I suppose that's a good thing. As long as you're doing what the tutorial tutorial wants you to do. To access the ship, we need to click the ramp. Access. And then we'll close the ramp. Because why not? Objective complete. Board the tutorial ship. Yes, prepare for takeoff. Let's accept this one. Prepare for takeoff. So it hasn't updated any mission text in there. So really, this is the main thing you need to be paying, paying attention to. Oh, prepare for takeoff. Get in the seat. Okay, it's not telling me anything to do. Luckily, I know how to start my ship. This is so a new player experience should really guide you on how to do stuff, either with giving you shortcuts or you know telling you what the keybinds are. Maybe I've got a setting turned off somewhere. I probably have because I mean there hasn't been any pop-ups this time round for 
like new player tips and hints. I mean, I don't know. I'm a bit dubious about this new player experience so far, but again, if I check that now quickly, I probably have missed half the information because I have a setting turned off somewhere. Look, look, I have show hints off. But even with that off, I mean, you shouldn't really need hints on to follow a tutorial. A tutorial is there to guide you through something. So, yeah, there's some buttons on the right-hand side, you know, information on the right. Now we're in the ship to fly, but I mean... It's not in your face. I've only just noticed that. It took me a moment to even see it was there. I don't know. Well, that's a reserve judgment. We've still got to fly. Um, I have a keybind to set up for equals to get my ship hangar open. You are to launch. Hey. But normally, if you don't have that set up, then you're going to need to go to your communications terminal. Which I don't even know. Because I don't use it usually. There we go. Comms, and then you can request landing services to uh, get the ship to, well, not the ship, but you need to get the hangar removed so we can fly. Okay, so, space bar goes Take up, control goes down, and apparently I'm being radar locked already. Fantastic. You can auto land with N, but we're not going to do that because the pilot needs to take us out the hangar. Space bar to go up, space bar to go up. Landing gear away with N. I suppose, yeah, the information is updating on the right-hand side, look, I mean, it doesn't even zoom in when you zoom in. Oh, fair enough. It is what it is. Sorry for my ramblings. I'm a bit miffed by that. Pilot the ship Thank out you. of the hangar. I've done that. I am outside the hangar. Okay, so now we've completed because we've gone high enough. Again, we have now our marker. Follow the checkpoints out of area 18. Okay. F4 is the default key to change your camera if you want to change your camera, but if we want to follow the marker, we need to be inside the ship. You scroll up on your mouse wheel to increase your speed bar, which is this bar. Left. left ship will boost. I think I'm doing a better job of explaining guidance here at the minute. No, that's just me. So, how to play, I suppose. Follow the next marker. I'm just going to do exactly as it says. Follow the mission parameters. Boost. Left shoot. Here we go. Next marker. Three thousand meters. Two thousand. This is a very half-assed way out of the atmosphere, if you ask me. <laughs> I suppose they did this for a reason. Okay, weave it through. Now for that. Right. That's it. A bit further. Okay, boot. I can't boost because I have no power. Now I can boost. And it's going to last very long. some more power to my engines. Keep going. Yay, finally, objective has been completed. Use quantum travel to reach Bajini point. Left bracket to accept, yes. Use quantum jump. So, has it set the destination for me? Is the question. Oh, it's letting me travel like this. I didn't even set a destination. Oh, I suppose it was because Bajini Point's in the same system as me. It doesn't even need. Quantum travel is now. Bajini Point is just ahead. We don't need quantum travel anymore. 20 kilometers. So, yeah, I mean. This hasn't really gone a great deal in depth on how to travel from like point A to B. Maybe it's coming up? I don't know. So I haven't done this yet. This is all new. Land at Bajini Point. Okay, I shall do. I'm going a wee bit too fast. Whoa. Please stop. Yeah, request landing. Equals. It's for me, because I've set the key bone to that in setting if you wanted to. Right, there's my little landing bay marker. And it's updated my checkpoint. On the mission. Okie 
Mm. Landing gear deploy. Landing gear deployed. Always take it steady when you're going into land, ladies and gents, because you don't want to crash. I do like the new landing gear lights. They are pretty cool. Here we go. Auto land with N, it says. Hold N, there we go. And I am now auto landing. Sweet, something worked. Here's our next objective. I really do like those landings, they're pretty cool. Okay, I've landed at Virginia Point, now what? I'm a noob. I don't know how to play. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Store the ship at Virginia Point. Okay, what's going to get out of the ship? How would I get out of the ship? It doesn't tell me. Well, I know it's why. Holding why. This is. I mean, it doesn't really tell me how to do stuff. New players need to know how to do things. They need to be handheld, so to speak. Oh, why am I in the air? <laughs> you didn't auto land very well, did you? Never mind, I broke my leg falling out the ship. Great. This is going to take a bit of time. Okay, let's store the ship, because that's what it wants us to do. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Store. Yes, please. It's now stored. Please Mission complete. Again. Objective complete. Goodbye. Already, well, that's complete. I don't need to accept that. I have been awarded 15,000 AUEC. Thank you very much. I, I won't say no to some starting cash. Traversing the verse. You've completed the Star Citizen tutorial and are ready to explore the verse. Now it's up to you to decide what your life and space will be like. Con the contract manager on your mobile glass contains very different opportunities for dispute, delivery missions, the danger criminal blah, 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 blah. However, you forge your. Blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, I'm a bit 50-50 on this, honestly. It's, it, in concept, the idea is great. I think in the execution, still needs a little bit more work. I assume I'm now done. I, mean, I didn't read that text fully. Still... So I mean the end. I mean even the ending is a bit, a bit bizarre because it's just like, it just explains what all the Moby Glass options are, and now you're just expected to kind of, just go for it. I mean the mission overall, the tutorial took twenty, well about twenty minutes to complete. It's not too bad. I mean it said thirty minutes, so that's always a positive. My main takeaway from this was the fact that I didn't really learn much. I if I if I wasn't, I mean I'm recording and trying to pay attention to the tutorial while doing the recording so I don't want it to be too long but at the same time I don't want to take forever it's the same thing really but at the same time I don't want to read everything um, which a new player you're going to want to do you're going to want to read everything all of one of Star Citizen really uh, but I think overall there's just something missing maybe if the actual mission of the tutorial itself had like a voice guiding you through it uh, kind of much like, I mean, Eve does a good job with their new player experience. I mean, that is isn't the best, but it is has come a long way over the years. It does have someone guide you through the initial basics. Yes, we had text. Yes, we had missions guiding us with po good pointers on like location markers on where to go. 
but it was very easy to get lost as in you know the, the mission I had to buy a pistol whether I actually had to buy that pistol or not I don't really know I mean it all happened so quickly so I think yes this will help with the new player experience in some way but I think it could still cause some confusion I mean not to toot my own horn here because I really don't like to be that guy the, the I tried to make a new player experience type set of videos in my YouTube channel which you can go and check I did it in such a way because I wanted to guide people through it with decent on-screen prompts with key bindings that are the default ones at the minute on the right hand side of this screen is a tiny little key bind which yeah I mean it's great as I'm pressing focus it's changing to what buttons are now I can do so I've got the mouse is the focus point take F away and then it's telling me what I can do there so but it's not really in your face and I'm only using a small monitor here so it's not a resolution issue either but I didn't even notice that initially so I don't know I don't want to ramble for too much more guys because this video has been a bit of a long one but it's nice to see a new player experience so kudos to SIG for that uh, to CIG for that but I think the main core takeaways is we need more on screen presence of what to do I don't think the mission system is ideal to do this tutorial. I mean, it will lead the way on what you need to do next, but I think there's a better way to do it than than, a, than just following missions that keep popping up on the screen, except, except, except. And the main, I mean, personally, if it was me, I would love to have an audio on what to do next. Someone talking me through it, because I prefer audio input. That's just me. Everyone is different, but that is my take on it. Not really a lot to go away from here. I'm not... I can't say I'm overly impressed. I think there is, as I said, some work to do. But it's still better than what we had. Not having it at all, you know, is worse than having something. So they've got to start somewhere, and development is always an ongoing thing. So hopefully we can see some nice iterations of this new player experience going forward. So thank you for joining on this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And if you have any feedback, do leave it down in the comments on what they could do to make this experience a little bit better for the newer player who might feel just a tad overwhelmed with nothing at all. See you next time.